Hi guys, thank you so much to all of you who commented, liked, and subscribed to me on my last video. It really meant a lot to me and seeing that that was my first video on YouTube, it really got me really excited for the journey ahead and I did get some suggestions for this specific look. This is essentially um, my most used eye look using the Naked 3 palette. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll be happy to do those videos for you. I can do anything from makeup to lifestyle to organization to hauls to anything that you possibly would like. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's hop into the video which also has some tips and some quick little ways of how to do this eye makeup look. So. Let's go! Okay, so I already have all my makeup on and I just primed my eyes with the Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. And um, right now I'm just gonna put my hair up, get it out of my face. Uh, the first thing I like to do is get some tape. It doesn't have to necessarily be scotch tape, but just some tape because if you are new to makeup and you're not really sure um, where to put things or how much to put and stuff like that, it's important to have a line and a barrier. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stretch the tape from the corner of my eyebrow to the bottom. And I don't always do this, but for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and do that because I think it's just going to be easier for you guys. And this is sort of a beginner's tutorial because um, some of you were telling me that you would like to see that. So I just wanted to make sure that I covered all the bases. And as I used in my last tutorial, um, I'm going to use the Naked 3 palette. This brush is amazing. It is a brush in Jean. So just the Urban Decay brush and jean and it's amazing for these looks. So the first thing you want to do is set down a base color and also what I like to do is just run the brush against my hand so that any excess color comes off. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take the color Strange and I always like to tap off the excess because that way I don't get that much fallout. And what I'm going to do is just put that all over my eyelid just to create a nice smooth surface. Next, I like to go into the crease. Now the crease is essentially where the eye folds. So if you close your eye, you can see that there's no folds and when you open them, you see that there's a little fold right here. So that fold is your crease. That's where you want to put the darkest colors because if you put it in your eyelid, your whole eye is just going to look really dark and it's not going to be a nice, soft, and blended look. So the first thing I like to do is take a color that is a transitioning color. Now a transition color is essentially a color that is not too light, not too dark, but it's enough to give you a shadow in your crease. So I like to take the color Limit in the Naked 3 palette. It's just really nice for a transition shade. So I'm gonna open my eyes a little bit and then just put that in the crease. And what I do is I literally just put my brush where I see the fold and then I open it a little more and just blend in windshield motions. This is an everyday look, everyday look that I like to do. Um, it's just something very simple and something that I really love. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend until there's basically no more eyeshadow on my brush and what I like to do is concentrate it here and then just move it towards the inner corner just make sure every area of that crease is being blended out as my transition color now what I'm going to go ahead and do is take a darker color around the same shade which is Nooner and I'm just going to start building in the crease and I like to focus this on the outside so I'm just going ahead and doing that in windshield wiper motions. Picture a car and picture how it goes back and forth, back and forth, and just do those motions in your crease. Make sure you're not doing them too rough and that your brush isn't going too harsh on your eye because the skin on your eyelid is very, very delicate. As you can see, I've built up a nice color and I'm just gonna go ahead and do another layer of that. So you see, now that I've built up that color, in my crease. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep blending. What I like to do is get a clean brush. If you don't have the money to be able to splurge on the Naked 3 palette at the moment, I recommend trying to find these Wet n Wild brushes. 
they're very very soft and they blend very well so the same thing I'm just gonna brush on to my skin make sure that there's no excess powder I don't know if you see that powder coming out but it's important that you get that out because you don't want darkness from your other eyeshadow to stay on so I'm just gonna blend out the corners I'm not taking any color on this brush I'm gonna go ahead and go in again with Nooner and just do a darker layer all right and once I'm satisfied with the color and the intensity I'm taking the color factory and mixing it with mugshot they're quite similar in tones except mugshot is a little darker um, and I'm just gonna put that in my outer V now the outer V is what you see here it just it literally looks like a V I'm just gonna put that here focus it and blend Now that I'm satisfied with the look, I'm going to take the other side of this brush and this is probably my favorite for packing on lid colors. You can also use um, the Wet n Wild one. Um, I'm actually going to use the Wet n Wild one today because it is really, really good. So what I like to do is I take some of my setting spray and I put it on the back of my hand like that and I make sure to saturate my brush in that color not that color sorry in <laughs> that liquid and what this will do will it will allow me to get a stronger pigmentation out of my color because the brush is now wet so I can pick up more pigment I'm gonna go in with the color trick and as you can see I've really used it up it is probably my favorite um, eyelid color it's amazing so what I'm gonna do is close my eye a little bit and just pack that into my eyelid I'm also gonna put it on my lower lash line on the inside. Now what I'm gonna do is take the brush that I used for my crease and grab some more of that second darkest shade that we used and I'm just gonna blend out the edges. I don't want um, a harsh edge so I'm just blending that out. When in doubt just blend it out honestly. Blending is probably the best thing you can do. For some reason, my camera cut out, and I'm not sure why, but I'm just going to keep on going um, and packing that color onto the lid. Once again, making sure that I'm not going too overboard with the sparkle. Um, if that's your personal preference, then just go for it. Honestly, makeup is a great way to express yourself and just express the way that you feel inside. I'm going to take a clean blending brush, the one that I used from Wet n Wild, and I'm going to take the color Strange again, which is the color that we started off with. And I'm going to put that on my brow bone. What this is going to do is it's going to take away any dark colors that I got too high up there. I'm going to take the highlight that I have on my cheekbones and all over my face in general. And I'm going to just take a small portion of whichever color I'm feeling. Right now I'm kind of feeling the white one. And put that in my inner corner. This is going to open up the eye. And as I said, I have really small eyes, so that's going to help open and brighten your eye and just a small amount under the brow bone you don't want to go too heavy you just want to make sure that it's a little highlighted so that you can get that nice glow that you're looking for the Kat Von D tattoo liner in the color trooper I just realized that I'm completely out of frame here I'm so sorry if you want an eyeliner tutorial I'll definitely do that but let's just keep watching the tutorial just making sure that it's even and very nice and once I am happy with my wing I am going to remove the tape my foot fell asleep I'm gonna remove the tape to use the brush that you use to blend everything else out just do a little bit of blending and also under the eye you want to make sure you're not taking that color or pigmentation too below the eye because um, you don't want to look tired the point is to just emphasize the lower lash line a little more. The best mascara duo I have ever tried is using the Clinique Lash Building Primer in conjunction with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. These two together are amazing in my opinion and for my eyelashes and for the looks that I go for. So I'm just going to take my primer. And now I'm going in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and just coating every individual lash, making sure all the white is gone, and also doing my bottom lashes. And I got some mascara there, but 
do not fear. You can just take it out with a Q-tip, um, which is usually what I do. I always clean up with Q-tips. They're the best way to clean up your mistakes. All right, so there it is, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and do the other eye, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so that was my video. Pretty simple, as you can see. Um, I cleaned up the mascara that I had in there, and I did my other eye. So it was pretty simple, pretty easy. If you just keep practicing, you will get the hang of it. There were some parts that I'm so sorry that it cut out and you couldn't really see what I was doing, but if you want like an in-depth tutorial on how to do eyeliner or how to do a specific part of the tutorial, just let me know um, in the comments below. So please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. It would really mean a lot to me. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.